Mm, do you see it? I'll give you a few seconds. There. See that movement? What you're seeing is the larva stage of the fragile, beautiful green lacewing. You've probably seen them flying at night, maybe around your porch light. They remind me of little fairies more than an insect. This little guy is in the larva stage, called the aphid lion or aphid wolf, junk bug or trash bug. This one was crawling on my wood fence. Here's one I filmed crawling on a tree trunk in search of a meal. They feed mostly on aphids, hence the name. But why called a trash bug? Well, that's because of what they do to disguise themselves. These little guys are cold-blooded killers and a master of disguise. Aphids are a major pest to plants as they move about to colonize. They not only suck the life from the plant, but can also carry viruses from other plants and transmit to these plants and it only takes one. But some ant species love the little pest. The aphid produces a sticky, sweet liquid called honeydew, which ants love. Some ants will even farm the aphid like it's cattle, and in turn, it protects the aphid from predators. That's where the ant lion junk bug comes in, as it kills and sucks its fluids out of the aphid. When it's done, it takes the carcass of the aphid and sticks it on its back. That, along with other debris, it builds up a layer of protection and disguise. Now, along with that, the smell of a dead is on its back and it's able to sneak into a farming colony of ants. Much like using the blood of a zombie to disguise yourself so you're able to move amongst them. But once it grabs one of the aphids, it lets out a warning to the ants. Now the ants try to attack and tear at the ant lines protective debris. They tear at it as it as it tries to retreat. Eventually the ants will give up and the ant line is victorious. It will do this for 15 to 20 days, killing a hundred or more aphids. It will then pupate by spinning a cocoon around itself and emerge a week or so later as a beautiful green lacewing. Here's one on my finger, crawling about. You can see its head moving back and forth. 
his little pinchers on the front of his head are hollow. So when it grabs a hold of an aphid, it starts sucking the fluids from the aphid. If you do mess with them a lot, they will try to defend themselves and they will try to bite. There have been reports of some people having allergic reactions to the little bite. So be careful. I'm a professional, so I know what I'm doing here. I know handling it is dangerous. Look at it as it's trying to negotiate the hairs on my arm. He's getting pissed off. He wants to fight. He wants to kill. Because he is a murdering little bug. Dangerous to the aphid life. But look at what it becomes. Beautiful. The end. Y'all be sure to like it, subscribe, hit the share, all that good junk. Talk to you later. Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Don't forget. Bye-bye.